kids, I am Teacher Raan and welcome to our English class. Come and let's learn English together. Before we start, let us set some virtual class rules. Number one, focus on the video. Number two, listen attentively. And number three, participate actively. Use the comment box if it is needed. Hello kids! How are you? I hope you are doing good. Are you ready to learn today? Our objective, participate in choral speaking and echo reading of short poems, rhymes, and stories with repeated patterns and refrains in English. Let's start kids! Before we start our lesson, let us answer this activity. Read the poem and find the pair of words that rhyme. The title of the poem is A Little Seed. A little seed for me to sow. A little seed to make it grow. A little hole, a little path, a little wish, and that is that. A little sun, a little shower, a little while, and then a flower. Now, it is time for you to find the pair of words that rhyme. Again, you are going to find the words that has the same ending sound. Okay? Timer starts now. And the first pair of words that rhyme in this poem is sow and grow. Did you get it? Very good. Now let's have the second pair of words that rhyme. Type now your answer in the comment box. The answer is pat and that. How about the last pair of words that rhyme? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the answer is shower and flower. Did you get the pair of rhymes correctly? Now I think you are ready to learn. So let's get started. What do we mean by choral reading and echo reading? What are their differences? Let us find out. Let's have the choral reading. Choral reading is reading aloud in unison with a whole class together with the teacher or a group of students. Choral reading is composed of two or more persons who are reading aloud in unison. When we say unison, it is acting or speaking together at the same time. Just like in this picture, there are six students who are reading aloud together. Now, what are the benefits of choral reading? Choral reading helps build students' fluency, self-confidence, and motivation. Because students are reading aloud together, students who may ordinarily feel shy, self-conscious, or nervous about reading aloud have built-in support. Through choral reading, 
the students who are shy to read alone will boost their confidence. Now let's go to echo reading. Echo reading is a type of instruction in which students read text after a teacher reads the same text aloud. So it simply means that the teacher reads the text first in echo reading. Then after that, the student repeats it back to the teacher. Just like here in the picture. It says here, Repeat exactly what the teacher says. So when I say once upon a time, you're going to read it back and say once upon a time. That is echo reading. So what are the benefits of echo reading? Echo reading helps in enhancing the reading abilities of students in various aspects. Furthermore, it helps in building confidence in the student, improves their listening skills, enhances the reading comprehension and vocabularies. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try something called echo read. Okay? I'm going to read a sentence and then you guys are going to say exactly what I said. Okay? Should you just memorize what I say or should you read from the text? Read from the text. Yes, ma'am. All right. Should you follow along while I read? Yes. Absolutely. Here we go. Or you drive by your old school. Or you drive by your old school. And then it all comes back to you. And then it all comes back to you. How does that happen? How does that happen? Now, what do we mean by repeated patterns and refrains in poems? Repeated patterns is frequently used structure or method of poetry writing. It refers to the repeated words or sounds or rhyming words to give emphasis to the pattern used in the poem. Now, let us go back to the poem that we had in our first activity, a little seed. What have you noticed with the pair of words that are boxed? The pair of words sow and grow, pat and that, shower and flower. What have you noticed to them? Yes, they are rhyming words. The last word in lines 1 and 2 are rhyming words. They have the same ending sound. And we label them A, A. The last word in lines 3 and 4, pat and that, are also rhyming words. So we put them B, B. And the last words in lines 5 and 6 are also rhyming words. So we label them C, C. So what can you say about the pattern in this poem? Yes, the pattern here is A, A, B, B, C, C. This poem used rhyming words as its pattern. Let's have another example. Now let us read this poem. The coolness of the night refreshes my skin. The stars shine so bright, causing me to green. What have you noticed with the pair of words that are boxed in yellow? Are they rhyming words? Night and bright? Yes, they are rhyming words. So let us label them A, A. Remember kids, we use the same letter in labeling the 
rhyming words in the poem. Now, what have you noticed in the words inside the red box? Skin and green. Are they rhyming words? Yes, correct. They are also rhyming words. So we label them B, B. Now, what do you think is the pattern here? Correct. The pattern here is A, B, A, B. Now, let us go to the refrain. What is refrain? Refrain is a repeated line or group of lines that may be found in the middle or usually at the end of stanza. It may be repeated at regular intervals. It is used to emphasize the idea shown in the poem. Now, let's have an example of poem with refrain. Let us read. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Now, in this poem, what have you noticed? Correct. There is a line that is being repeated, and that is the third line. The third line and miles to go before I sleep is repeated in the fourth line. That is an example of refrain. Let's have another example. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. So as we can see in this poem, the line 1, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, is repeated in the line 5. And the line 2, How I wonder what you are, is also repeated in the line 6. This is an example of a refrain. Now that you know choral and echo readings, repeated patterns, and refrains, let us try to answer the following activities. Let's try this. Read the poem. Identify the line from the poem which was considered as refrain. The title of our poem is Dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, Life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. So which line is being repeated in this poem? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is, hold fast to dreams. This line is repeated in the next stanza. If this is your answer, you are correct. Let's have our next poem. I love my grandparents. I visit them always as they love to see me often. I love my grandparents. When my mother cooks food, I'll bring it to them. I feel so good. From this poem, which line is being repeated? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the correct answer is, I love my grandparents. This line is being repeated in the fourth line. If this is your answer, well done! Yay! Nice kids! 
You really did a good job. Let's proceed to our next activity. Let's do it. Identify the pair of rhyming words used in the poem. The title of the poem is Play. I jump, I shake, I dance, I hop. I like to move, I cannot stop. I scoot and roll across the floor. I spin in circles out the door. So from this poem, what are the pairs of rhyming words? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the answers are hop and stop. We also have floor and door. If these are your answers, very good. Now let's have this stanza. I ran outside. I leap. I skip. I bounce. I slide. I swing. I flip. But I'm so careful, I don't trip. So from this stanza of the poem, what are the rhyming words? Type now your answer. So the rhyming words from this stanza are skip, flip, and trip. If these are your answers, very good. Congratulations, kids! You really did well! Always remember, echo reading is where the teacher will read, then the students will repeat the phrase. While choral reading is where the teacher and the students read the same passage at the same time. Repeated patterns refer to the repeated words or sounds or rhyming words to give emphasis to the pattern used in the poem, while refrain is a repeated line or group of lines that may be found in the middle or usually at the end of stanza. I hope you learned well today! You may now answer the activities in your module that your teacher will give. Again, I am Teacher Roan and here's our quote of the day. A book is a dream that you hold in your hand. Till our next lesson, kids. Goodbye!